Hey guys and gals, James Stacy here with another blog to watch video review and today we're taking a look at the Longines Heritage Military COSD. The COSD was an exciting watch when it came out. It piqued a lot of people's interest because Longines has a great track record for making interesting sport watches that don't cost a fortune, you know, well under what you've uh, come to expect from a Rolex or an Omega, uh, but you're still getting that uh, kind of Swiss luxury branding and uh, and a nice quality watch and one that uh, certainly we've we've come to appreciate at a blog to watch with the CUSD it's essentially uh, very nearly a direct reissue of a watch from the 1940s worn by British paratroopers so let's dig right in the case is 40 millimeters wide in steel it's 10 millimeters thick 52.1 millimeters lug to lug Uses a sapphire crystal up front with an internal AR reflective treatment. It's quite effective. The movement is the Longines L619.2 automatic. More on that a little later in the video. Weight is 76 grams on the NATO you see here. And water resistance is 30 meters. So the COSD is uh, directly referential to a model from the 1940s. Which, like I said, was worn by British uh, paratroopers. During World War II, I'll show you the original model here. This new model, uh, I really like. It's a nice size. It's very wearable. I like a field watch for their simplicity and their legibility. Um, this one is quite shiny. The entire case, every surface you see here is polished. And it reflects a lot of light. And I'm not sure the polish is really a great fit for an otherwise kind of sporty, tough military sort of styling. Uh, that we see with the COSD. Uh, you have a fantastic dial, excellent legibility. Uh, the dial also comes in a black option, which I'll show you towards the end of the video. But this is kind of an off-white cream dial, a little bit of red accents. You get a nice date at three, which is easily readable. The hands are in blued steel, which I think you can see there. Like I said, legibility is excellent. There's a fair amount of loom, not as much as you get in, say, a dive watch, but plenty for a field watch and uh, a very successful treatment that way. The polish case, like I said, feels a little bit out of place and I would have really liked a screw down crown because this is a sport watch and it's certainly derived from a military heritage. I think make it as tough as possible and a screw down crown would be a nice addition. That said, 30 meters water resistance, uh, you know, I wouldn't go swimming with it, but up to that you're probably okay. Uh, but certainly kind of uh, incidental moisture shouldn't bear too much of an issue for the COSD. And then finally, the 619.2 uh, is an automatic movement, date, 4 hertz, 42 hour power reserve, 21 joules. As some of you might have guessed, the 619.2 is based on the 2892 A2 from ETA. That's basically the cream of the crop of the, uh, of the ETA brand as far as their kind of off-the-shelf movements go. It's the same movement that Omega used so successfully with the 1120 and so many Seamasters. And in this watch, it keeps excellent time. It really is a fantastic movement. It's a very thin movement, which of course gives you that one centimeter case thickness, which makes the watch very wearable, even with the added bulk of uh, this NATO strap, which isn't something I mind. Let's take a look on wrist so you can see what I mean. And here's the Longines COSD on wrist. So this is actually the NATO strap that it comes with. It's a standard NATO strap, uh, you know, nice quality. Uh, and then you get a uh, signed Longines style buckle with a uh, spring bar release. It's a nice strap. I think it suits the watch nicely. You can get leather, which I think defeats the purpose, kind of. Like, the leather's a fine look if you prefer leather, but get the NATO. It's cheaper, and then just put all your own leather straps on it. That's what I would do. Uh, it's super light, like I said, 76 grams on the NATO, so it's really wearable that way. The lugs are really long and at 52 millimeters you could make the case that they're too long for my 7 inch wrist. But I think you can see here that because of the curvature of the lugs and the kind of way that they claw down towards your wrist, it actually makes it quite wearable. And I really rather like the proportions of the lugs and while I'm maybe not a huge fan of the polish, if you look at the way it catches the light, I actually kind of dig it at times and, and it looks pretty cool. Uh, you know, the, the photograph supplied of the original model was brushed, so I kind of feel like I would have loved to have seen a brushed option for this one too. It's a comfortable watch, it's not too heavy, uh, you know, while it is very shiny, it's, it's really nice on the NATO, and uh, there's an optional black dial like I had said, and again, if you want, you can go with the leather strap. Uh, it wears nicely, I love the legibility. If you want more information about the old model, I go into more depth on my full review at blogtowatch.com. 
But this has been my look at the Longines Heritage Military CUSD. Watch has a retail price of 1700 USD on the NATO, a little bit more on the leather strap. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you like these videos, click like. If you want uh, kind of an inside look at me and all the watches I'm checking out and things I'll be reviewing and, and you know shooting video for, give me a follow on Instagram. That's at J.E. Stacy. I hope that we can converse and uh, check out some cool watches together. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.